It's the morning announcement. Good morning, MHS. I'm Ella. And I'm Brandon. Today is Friday, December 16th. Please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, Ella, this part's you. Oh, sorry, I was just reading a new copy of the imprint. Oh, hot off the press. <laughs> MHS's school's newspaper, The Imprint, will be selling copies of their fall issue during every lunch block until winter break. Read all about our school's latest news, events, and, one, and more for only a dollar. This weekend, the Learning Commons will be named in honor of Dr. David Driscoll, former Melrose Superintendent and Commissioner of Education for Massachusetts. Here's a short video with more about Dr. Driscoll. Hello, my name is Dr. David Driscoll. I was born and brought up in Melrose, the youngest of 10 children. I went to the Gooch Elementary School and the original Roosevelt Middle School before attending Melrose High School. I was on the 1959 state champion football team and graduated from MHS in 1960. After graduation, I attended Boston College and majored in mathematics. And after graduating from Boston College, I taught in Somerville and then came to Melrose High School as a math teacher. In addition to teaching, I was the assistant coach for the 1967 state championship basketball team. And in 1968, I was the first varsity soccer coach for Melrose High School in the Middlesex League. I was active in the community fighting for a new high school. And in 1972, I became the business manager for the district. And in 1984, superintendent of schools. As superintendent of schools, I started women's soccer, citywide PTO, parents for after school learning. I also made the recommendation to close the Franklin School and transfer the sixth grade to the middle school and then the ninth grade to the high school. In 1993, I became the deputy commissioner of education at the Department of Education. And in 1998, I was acting commissioner and then in 1999, commissioner. Under my leadership, Massachusetts was the first state to have students score the highest achievement on national tests. We were also the first state to be approved under the No Child Left Behind national legislation. And I was specifically asked by Senator Kennedy and President Bush to have Massachusetts take the lead in implementing that law. I retired in 2007 and have served on a number of boards, worked in many states, and several large districts across the country. All four of my children went to the Melrose schools, followed by three of my grandchildren. To have this great learning commons at Melrose High School named after me is truly humbling and a great honor. I wish the students at Melrose High School many years of success in the learning commons, or as the kids are already calling it, the Driz. Please join MHS Reach Leaderships for the 6th Annual Hope for the Holidays Open Mic Night on Tuesday, December 20th at 6 p.m. in the MDMS Cafeteria. Teacher Future. Hi guys, this is Mr. Applegate. I am a special ed teacher at Melrose High. I've been teaching, this is my third year teaching here. I started as a paraprofessional back in 2019, the year of the COVID shutdown. Uh, my favorite thing about working here is being a support teacher. A fun fact about myself, I don't know how fun it is, but a fact is that I had 20 members of my family graduate from Melrose High School. And then my father was the school resource officer here for 10 years. My grandfather was on the Melrose Fire Department. So this is my way of serving the city, I guess. Please join the English department in congratulating the students who won their classroom contest and have advanced to compete in our Melrose High School Poetry Out Loud competition on Monday during crew. Olivia Abdow, John Arena, Nina Baba, Dylan Bates, Lucy Blase, Edith Lesso, Let's Move On, James Kanspike, Saring Chapel, Emma Curran, Eva Downs, Elsie English, Emery Ford, Mateus Gallagher, Maya Slavia Juliana, Hannah Hasty, Monica Hodges, Alice Riley Huff, Agnes Victoria Lima, Sean Hatton, Jonathan Martino, Leo Mo, Laura Musa, Sammy Musa, Milana Nolesk, Jason Pino, Caitlin Forty, Billy Pomeo, Aaron Regan, Jack Rubel, John Strong, Alec Trufil, Sydney Trey Pass, Jaden Chapel. Tune in to next week's announcements to see who made it on to the finals. On Tuesday, the MHS band had their annual winter concert. Let's take a look.
Just breathe. Breathe. Avatar, the way of water. Last week's top movies were Black Panther, Wakanda Forever with 11 million, Violent Night with 8 million, and Strange World with 3 million. On Saturday, boys wrestling meet at 8 a.m., boys hockey at Belmont at 2 p.m., and girls hockey at Belmont on 4 p.m. On Monday, it'll be girls hockey versus Medford at 6 p.m. On Tuesday, girls basketball versus Belmont at 6 p.m., and boys basketball at Belmont at 7 p.m. On Wednesday, boys wrestling at Whalen six p.m. at six p.m. Six, girls hockey versus Reading at six p.m. Boys hockey versus Reading at seven thirty p.m. On Thursday, boys and girls track versus Wakefield at four thirty p.m. and co-ed swim meet at five thirty p.m. We'll be off the air next week. So for everyone here in the studio, I'm Ella and I'm Braden. Have, Have a, a great, great break, break MHS. MHS.